up? What's up, my peeps? What's going on with y'all? It's your boy, G. What's the word? Huh? Y'all hit them like buttons and stop playing. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, today, my Friday. Oof. Man, I'm glad as hell, too, man. I am glad as hell. It's been a long, it's been a long, slow week for me. Yeah, it's been a long, slow week. Mm, what y'all got going on out there, man? You know your boy. I'm just sitting here. You know what I'm saying? You don't fuck with y'all. You know, kick it with y'all for a minute. Before I go into work, I really ain't been on all week. You know what I'm saying? I've been taking care of different shit and just chilling, but uh, I'm back with y'all today, and for sure y'all know I'm going to be on here anymore, because, you know, my, my Fridays is mandatory, so it's mandatory that I be on here Friday. Mm. Huh. What's up, homies? I'm good, homie. How you been? Nothing but a G thing, huh? What's up, David Perez? I'm good. How you doing, homie? Michael Michael Gibson, what's going down? Mm. QP, what's going on, baby? Oh, okay, this is, uh, what's not? That's Dylan Rogers. Oh, okay. okay, that's right. Okay, without a doubt. Mm-hmm. Y'all bang that like button and stop playing, man. Y'all don't like buttons. I had it on the on the stand, but that motherfucker too far away. Y'all know I'm blind. I can't really reach y'all shit that far away, so I gotta put it up closer. Altadena in the house. What's up, Candy Red Rider? What's going on with you, baby? I mean, Atlanta. I'm you no, know, I'm tripping. Oh, the ATL in the house, baby. What's that Atlanta like? Huh? AJ say, uh, OG, how how you? Hey, I'm, I'm trying to uh, purchase a low rider, maybe a few, but I'd rather them be from you. If you could uh, point me in the right direction, it'll be a blessing for you from you. Shit, I am the right direction. <laughs> Hit me up. Uh, my Instagram fucked up right now. I can't, I tell you, oh, I just got a new phone. You know what I'm saying? So I changed phones and I'm, I'm blocked. I, can't, I got it all where I can't get in my Instagram to the mall. Um, so just hit me on my phone. Call my line. You know what I'm saying? AJ, just hit my line, baby. We hooked it. I got you. We gonna hook it up. Joe, what's going on, baby? Big Payback 67 checking in. Can't wait to for hey, can't wait for you to finish it. Um, Kenneth Williams, hey J A hey, G, hope all is well. Hey man, God is good, so you know all is well, baby. Greg, what's up, man? We're gonna talk about a little low ride tonight, Greg. You know what I'm saying? I want to see what other people's definition of a lowrider is, you know? You know, because everybody try to change shit to what they want it to be, you know what I'm saying, from what it was originally is, you know? So I'm just curious, you know, you know what I'm saying, to see what everybody think, what everybody's definition of what a, what a lowrider is. The lowrider car and the lowrider person that's going to be driving the car, both of them. Uh, QP say, Dylan, nice of us to join. Make sure you on time, on time to work. <laughs> uh, QP, what's up, loved one? Stone Jones, huh? Let's ride, Stone Jones. Uh-huh. Snoopy Mac, what's up, Snoopy Mac? What, what the fuck, that? I need the glasses for that. Oh, I need, yeah. I need the glasses for this. What's that, uh? What's that, Killer Chris? What's up, Killer Chris? 
What's going on with you? Huh? What's the word? Hey, 209, what's up, baby? He said, you know your boy in here, big homie G Riders all day. You already know, baby. Eddie G, what's going on, man? What's up, Eddie G? Huh? Good evening, old big G. A A A, a Trey, big oh, big, oh, A Trey in the house. A to Trey, what's going down? Shadow 79, what up? Still a G thing, baby. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah. Corey White say, what up, G? Much love and respect from Texas. What's up, Corey? Much love to you in Texas, baby. Huh? Texas, stand up, baby. What's that? Name? Rubble Grub said, uh, Street Smart Square guy checking in. <laughs> Street Smart Square guy, where you been, man? Oh, I ain't, I ain't seen I ain't seen my boy in a minute, man. I ain't, what's going on? How you doing, Street <laughs> Street Smart Square guy? Big Rodder G, what's up, baby? Huh? DC payroll cutting in. What's happening? Uh huh. Big B Compton's finest. What's up, Big B? Man, I'm just chilling, man. Day my motherfucking Friday, and I'm so glad because this week been going slow for me, homie. It's been going slow for me. Retro Man 92, what's up, baby? Good to see you, homeboy. Big Rider G said, if you ain't hitting that switch when you <laughs> when you roll through the boulevard, you ain't no low rider. Man, hello. Huh. We finna get to all that. All that. Yeah, bitch, you hit my car. Oh, excuse my language. But this woman damn near just hit my car, driving through here like a like a, a bed out of hell. Let me park. Y'all hold up. Let me park this vehicle. Oh, I was just sitting here waiting for me a nice little parking space. So let me park my vehicle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me park my vehicle. So I, I can get up in here. You know what I'm saying? And, and chill with y'all. Okay, I'm back, honey. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> man, y'all hit them like buttons and stop playing with your boy, man. Y'all know y'all gotta hit them like buttons. JB, what's going on, my brother? Andy G say, uh, it's a romance between the owner and the ride. Oh, my, it sure is a romance, man. Because I'm gonna tell y'all, excuse me, or let, I, sometimes I just feel like laying on the tray and just start humping on it. <laughs> oh, that tray got me so excited. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> big Twig say, oh, what's good, big homie? What's up, loved one? How you doing? D uh, Dalen Ware say, oh, the sip, the sip in here. What's good, OG? Mm, I'm thinking about uh, buying a 7879 Chevelle SS. Would that be worth 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 getting, OG? Uh, no, nah, if you're gonna get a Chevelle, it got to be the older ones, homie. 79, 78, no, nah, that, that that ain't old enough. If you're gonna get one that you that's gonna be worth some money. But if you just got one that you just want to jump in and play in, then hey, it's all good. QP say G to go to low riding and, and G Malone, top 10 Crips. <laughs> 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 
I feel you been low ride. I feel, I feel you, bro. Low riding ain't on you. It's in you. So bang that switch and go for a ride. Man, we going for a red ride, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Oh, I'm all good now. Look, I just got, I just got my car appraised yesterday. So now I'm just really old. Wait for the paperwork to come back and get the insurance so I can be in that bitch for the pig, for the uh, cookout. Yeah. Yeah, I finally got it appraised. If anybody in here can guess what I got it appraised for, I'm going to give you an OG hat. Uh, uh, I'm going to give you an OG, an OG air freshener, an OG hat, and an OG t shirt. If anybody in here can guess what that car, what I bought my trade, got appraised for. Yeah, hello. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's Killer Chris 83 say, uh, I know when my 63 is done, I'll be hitting the switch on everybody who has rims or trying to floss. And that's how I'm going to be riding low, my, my low rider. That's how you're supposed to ride your low rider. Look, man. Low riding is all about having fun, homie. You know what I'm saying? And that's real. Low riding, I mean, if you, have, you got a low rider, homie, and you ain't out there having fun hitting them switches, if you ain't one of them motherfuckers just let it up at home, get to the destination and let it down, if you one of them, you might as well just quit low riding, man. You know what I'm saying? You might as well stop. What that uh DJ Superman Slaughter said Melly Mel mentions the Gypsy Rose, but you said it was no Gypsy Rose. Y'all both from from Tanner, so I'm confused, bro, bro. I don't know how you confuse. Is he a low rider or I'm a low rider? Tell me that. Is he a low rider or I'm a low rider? Turtle never had a car named Gypsy Rose. Turtle's sister went on that uh, interview with Diane and, and just called that car Gypsy Rose. Turtle ain't had no damn car called Gypsy Rose. Turtle had a, a motherfucking, uh, what color is that? Uh, uh, Turtle had a lavender 63 with roses on the top. He bought from a home, he bought from a homeboy Brick. Uh, from, you know what I'm saying? He bought it from Brick. That car, we ain't even named cars back then, homie. We ain't even started naming cars till fucking the end of the 80s. And I was in jail then. So no, Turtle never had a car named Gypsy Rose. And you can believe me or you can believe him. Who the lowrider? Grubby grub working, hey man. You don't work, you don't eat grubby. I'm Ron Lawrence, what's up, loved one? Tony, what's up, baby? Man, I'm just chilling, man. We're talking a little bit about low riding tonight. Huh? Brandon Tate, salute. G from New from New York, man. What's up, N.O.? Man, stand up for the N.O., man. I got family down there in N.O., man. You know what I'm saying? Man, when I, when I went on the run back in 2000 and, uh, 2001, they got, that's where I was at, chilling in the N.O. <laughs> Gregory Chapman said, well, first off, you must truly love a low rider and even be considered, to even be considered, and I don't mean own a low rider, I mean build and hop it and show it. And, and show it in some more. That's right. Dodo Smoke say salute OG ENT. What up OG? Much respect. G Riders, baby. Much respect, Dodo. DJ Vegas says chiming in from Compton. What's up, love one? DJ Vegas in the house. Now that's OG Lowrider right there. DJ Vegas. I'm my motherfucking homeboy from the CPT. What up, homie? Just checking in. Uh, pork. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up, Pork? What that KC like, man? Not in the living room, bathroom, bedroom. Nigga, we talking about the kitchen, nigga. Ha <laughs> ha. The motherfucking kitchen. That's right. 
Um, Dino Smart, uh, peace and blessings, G. What's up, Dino? Y'all hit them like buttons. Oh, you can get a copy of Sunday Driver with my signature on it for me. Just so uh, I get my phone number when, uh, hey, Snoopy, Paul, put my phone number up here so, uh, Anybody that want to get that Sunday driver uh, with my signature on it, they can call me and I can uh, get it to them. What's that, uh, uh, Righteous Path? What's up? Say, great content as always. Keep it up. Thank you, my brother. I, I, I appreciate it. Stack Boy Fresh, say, uh, what's good, OG? You know what what it is. From the Bay to the CPT. We, man, we locked all the way in, first boy. We locked all the way in, Stack Boy Fresh. All the way. Big G Rider say, what's the ticket on the sounds install? This cat trying to charge me $220 to install my sound. It depends on what you all installing, homie. If, if, if he, uh, <clears throat> if you got everything, if you got everything, I'd say, I'd say 200 is a good price. If you got the wiring and you got everything, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I got uh, six six by nines, uh, two door speakers, uh, 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 the speaker up under the dash. I got four tweeters. I got a 10. I got two amps. Mine, I paid about 200 to get mine and so yeah big jj what's up love one yeah we on for the mall you know the mall my friday so you know i'm coming through you are you know what's up stone jones say heard about the rest of wreck on slosson uh blessings to all the family yeah man they man everybody sending a blessing out you know man it was a horrific wreck on slosson some idiot in the bins ran a red light, man, and cars blowing up, catching on fire, and so, like out of a fucking movie scene, man. Five people dead, so I'm like another seven, eight at the hospital, man. So every, hey, man, everybody send them above, say a prayer for those people, man, and their families. Um, what's up, Joe? What's that, uh, Joe Roscoe? Come, man, uh, Antonio to San Antonio, stand up, man. What's up, Texas? What's going on? What's up, Joe? Riff the Loke, what's up, baby? Man, salute, baby. Six nine Capricorn, what's up? Okay, yeah. Yeah, easy. I think easy only had that trade though. I don't think he's, he didn't have a lot of lowriders. You know what I'm saying? That was his first lowrider when he got that money and got that trade. Cash the beginner say, my brother is Scooter. Uh, Scooter from SBCC. What's up? What's up, homeboy? What's going on? What's up, Cash? That's right. Yeah, yeah, you're a low rider for life, man. A real low rider. One seventy nine, <laughs> one hundred K. Stack out, boy. Fresh say one hundred. Big rider G say one thirty four. Caleb say one fifty, one sixty seven, two hundred, one forty five, one ten. 250, 70K, 70K. Hey, D's boy, you show sure with show changing, boy. Uh, BG64, 62, uh, say, uh, Impala say 175, 99K, 150, 80, 180, 180, 75. Ron Lawrence, 75K. You, you all, hey, y'all need to find Ron Lawrence for that, man. Somebody give him a fine. D General one eighty k. Somebody find D General. Find uh, JB two for hauling eighty. 
QP 235. Oh, I wish. Month the QP 135. Oh. 175. Mm, mm, mm. Almost, boy. Y'all hey, y'all coming, but y'all y'all hitting at it. Y'all hitting at it. 120K. Uh -huh. 160K, 130K. Mm. What up, G and my G Rider family? Say BG62 on Paulo. 165K. Oh, my goodness. Huh? Porky say 150K. <laughs> yeah. Huh? An 85 documentary, Turtle Hills. He, that night he was riding, he was rolling, uh, he was rolling the homeboy. He was rolling the homeboy Rag 66, the homie Bad Abbott Rabbit. That was a Rag 6 he was in. But I was, uh, I was locked up. I had, I had caught a murder in 85. So that's, that's the only reason why I wasn't in that motherfucker. Uh, my, that's why Mondo wasn't in it. That's why the other twin wasn't in it. All three of us, we was locked up. We was all in, we was all locked up. But that was a rag 66, pearl white. Mm. Boo Blitz said, we got love for you, OG. This is uh, E out of New Haven, Connecticut. The Thorough, man, what's up, E? Got love for you too, my homie. Much love, without a doubt. James Lamont say, Wex Phoenix. What's up, Mess Phoenix? West Phoenix, Maryvale. Tapping in. Michael Gibson say, salute to DJ Vegas. Greg Thomas say, I say 105K. Okay, that's my number up there, right? Uh, that Snoopy Mac just put up there. Anybody want to hit me in or order, order books or... Uh, Sunday Driver DVD or whatever. Just hit uh, hit me on that line. When I get off of here, I'm going to work. You know what I'm saying? You can uh, text me. If you're just waiting to hit me in the morning, or you can just text me all your info and tell me what you want, and I'll hit you back. Money Green say, rest in peace to the people that died in the car crash on Slauson and La Brea. Hey, man, without a doubt, man. That's a fucked up way to go, man. Getting burnt up in a motherfucking car, man. That's man. Damn. Jesus, please, man. Watch over the family and bless them, man. You know, give them some kind of some something, some kind of relief in their heart. Man, that's a cold way, man. That's crazy. Dallin Ware said, other than your low riders, OG, who has some of the nicest rides? Shit. I say shit. Turtle has some of the cleanest shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Benzo Al, rest in peace from Grape Street. You know what I'm saying? Big Huncho from Grape Street. I mean, Baby Huncho from Grape Street. Uh, motherfucking uh, Tony Bogart from PJ Watts. Manpower from, uh, from the Niggas and Gardens. Uh, you know what I'm saying? All the park boys. Man, come on, who the fuck is this? I'm declining. All the Parker boys had uh, Crazy Shirt, Boulevard, Rod, Calvin, you got know, all of them, man. You know? So, yeah, uh, let me see. Uh, Donald McKinney, my homie Donald, Don Juan, Momo from Fruit Town, uh, my boy, uh, Mark, my Mark Melicon, the homie Mark is in the club now. Had clean shit. Uh, you know, twin had clean shit. Thanks to me. <laughs> thanks to me, twin had clean shit. Uh, there, was, there was a lot of motherfuckers out there with clean cars, man. Charles Clayton had clean shit. Um, uh, my boy Cooter from the individuals. Cooter had clean shit. Well, Cooter been having clean shit too. Yeah. Yeah, Cooter had clean shit. Uh, Jay Clayton, rest in peace, he had clean shit. 
No, it was like it was a lot of clean shit out there, homie. Oh, Claudette McCoy said to me, a uh, low rider is a visionary cut with fashion and respect for the culture. That's right, Claudette. Hey, let me know it then. Uh-huh. Southside Village, what's up, Lakeisha? How you doing? <laughs> QP say, what's the appraisal? ha, ha, ha. Ain't nobody get it, so I ain't telling y'all. Ain't nobody get it. Big A's, Nashville, Tennessee. T -t 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 Tennessee. Take me to another place. Take me to another land. What's up, Tennessee? Okay, let, let's guess. Get on with the business, man. Ain't nobody guessed the car the amount, so I ain't even going to trip that. Mm. Say, are you going to public enemies at the beach? If it's Sunday, I can't. Y'all know if it's Sunday, I got to work. You know what I'm saying? I would go if, it were, if I didn't have to work. But if it's Sunday, Saturday, yeah, I can roll. But Sunday, I got to work on Sunday. You're not going all the way out to L.A. all early, be caught at that hot-ass beach all day, then come all the way back out here and have to go to work? Oh, no. Uh-uh. Worst thing ever, boy, as you go, as you come to work, tired. 110, 120, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, 95, no, 115, no, 130, no, 145, no, 120, 165, 110, 142, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man. Say, uh, Robert Jack, Jack Wayne said, can't find, um, uh, Body of pain for, for my 39. Man, hey, hey, see, everybody bagged up, homie. Everybody bagged up. That's crazy, homie. With these painters, every fucking body is bagged up. Big Al, what's up, baby? 126, no. Uh, uh, say, gee, I said 110 to 115. You can't say no 110. <laughs> ah, no, that ain't it. <laughs> 155, no, nah, pork, that ain't it. 140, 80G, nope. Huh. Oh, yeah, Lil Willie, Lil Willie, bro. Back in the 80s, Lil, Lil Willie painted all my shit. My two rag sevens, you know what I'm saying? My rag tray. Man, I don't know what the hell just happened, homie. I don't know what the hell just happened. But I've been trying to fix this, trying to come back in, so I'm back up in this BI, man. Hey, Jay Neighbor, stop hating on my Raiders, man. Jay Neighbor, hey, stop hating on my Raiders, baby. Don't do that. Big A, baby. Yeah, this is my, I don't know what the fuck going on, man. I don't know what the hell is going on. Why is, and this is a new phone. This is a new phone. Hmm. Yeah, we went a 20 out of 20. Oh, happy birthday to my motherfucking Auntie Wonder. May she flip, may she rest in peace. That's right. The day my Auntie Wonder birthday, man, may she please rest in peace. Uh oh, well, uh, Big Rider G say, what's the proper uh, passenger etiquette in the low rider? You know when you, you know the proper pa passenger etiquette in the low rider. 
when you got your boy with you, he riding shotgun. So he's staying heated, and he, you know, he's staying on the swivel as we move and as we groove. You know what I'm saying? But if it's a female, you know what I'm saying? If it ain't no uh, super sport, you know what I'm saying? Female's supposed to be right here. Huh, while I'm dipping. Female right here. That's the etiquette for a female. Unless she busy. <laughs> well, y'all, man, let me knock it off, man, for y'all ways. Let me knock it off. Yeah, I need my money back, man. This shit crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the picture hella clear, though? Okay, that's all good. That's a plus. Richard uh, Young said, what's up, G? And all the G riders tapping in, smashing that like button and getting uh, ready for the positivity. Okay, we on low riders today, so let's get busy, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, I want, I want y'all to let me know, you know what I'm saying? What's your definition of what a real, of what a low rider is? You know what I'm saying? I want to hear some of y'all definitions, and then I'm going to give y'all some, I'm going to give y'all my definition. You know what I'm saying? As far as the car go, you can say, you know, the car, car comes in all different shapes, sizes, and forms, and, 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 you know what I'm saying, and colors, so, uh, it don't really matter about a car because everybody low because everybody got to start somewhere with a car. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just didn't start building cars, you know, hundred thousand dollar cars and shit like that from the beginning. And like I told y'all when I started, I had a hard top '63, primed up gray on the bottom, primer black top with um five twenties and hubcaps, cut in the front. You know what I'm saying? So, we ain't really too much talking about the cars. But we can talk about the cars that got plaques in them, though. But just the regular cars with no plaques, we ain't really tripping that. You know what I'm saying? But we want to talk about what you feel a lowrider is, the person. The person that's supposed to be a lowrider. What do y'all feel that is? Hmm. <laughs> Be saying that she prescribing some head doctor medication. Boy, you crazy for that. <laughs> Cripping face, what's up, baby? Pumps, battery, cell cylinders, and dumps. Uh, Richard Young say, right is up, 20 nothing. Salute for the nation. Uh -huh. Salute for salute for the nation. Y'all know I got that tattoo right here. That Raider Nation tattoo. Uh-huh. Just win, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But uh, back, back to this low ride, man. AJ Butler say passion and in love, security way of life. Uh, Big Rider G said low ride is somebody that's going to hit their own switch. Whenever they see another low rider, whenever they hit the boulevard and, bang, and banging nothing but oldies, but not that new stuff, tearing the streets up, having fun. Okay, I can go with that. I can go with that. Come on, can I get some more? Can I get some more? We got a lot of lowriders on here, man. Somebody tell me what this lowrider shit is all about. I need to know. I might not even know. Huh? Johnny James, I would say, gee, would you sell old six a Cadillac DTS in great shape or keep it and save it for some years and restore it for a rainy day? Um, I'll sell it because one, once they start fucking up, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? And it's old six right now, so uh, I think I think I'll sell it on for real. BM say drop the old school 70 or older with 415s in the trunk. Mm. Dodo Smoke say uh, the mothership, but my definition of a low rider is something clean, batteries, high three wheel motion. Now I'm not I'm not saying the definition of, of, of the car. 
I'm talking about the definition of a, a person. The definition of a person that's supposed to be a lowrider. What, what, he, what he's supposed to be doing. AJ Butler said, he's sleeping nothing below uh, riding on my mind. When I'm dead, I'm going to be in a low rider. That's right. You should ride till you die. Um, Ken, if we can say, got to be on the streets hitting your switches, no airbags. You right about that, my brother. Paris Jackson said, I'm late to the party. What did I miss? Salute, OG. Well, we just getting started. We talking about what uh, what is your de definition of what a lowrider is? Not the car, the person that's supposed to be in charge of the lowrider. What is the definition of what he's supposed to be? Greg Thomas say, uh, cousin G, didn't you have uh, avocado green Cadillac back in the day, like 82, 83, that you pulled up to my mom's spot in Eaglewood on Crenshaw in 83 with uh, this a uh, uh, bad light skin girl named Boy. You better stop that, <laughs> Greg. Stop that, man. You bring you be gay. Stop that, man. Uh oh, -uh, you bringing back memories, huh? Yeah, you know what? You know Linda, huh? Knock it off, Valley Girl. That Valley Girl, Linda. Yeah. What's that? Key Lock Chris 83 said, bang that switch and on everybody who has rims or trying to floss when I ain't riding. <laughs> yeah, you're going to bang it on their ass. Yeah. Eat, sleep, low riding. Okay. Uh, that's uh, AJ Butler. Uh, hey, 209 to say a low rider is in, the, in, in their car or working on it. If, if they ain't in it, they thinking about it. If they ain't thinking about it, they dreaming about it. No, uh huh? Uh, this uh, the Twist twelve sixty eight say this DJ Twist from uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. What's up, DJ Twist? What's going on, my brother? Mm -hmm. Welcome to the show, man. Hit that like button, man. You know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe and come on up in here. Kenneth Wiggins saying uh. Wishing you were in low riding when, when you were driving your daily. Roll, to, roll, man, roll tide, man. I got my motherfucking homeboy I was in the feds with, man. You know what I'm saying? He love him some roll tide, some Alabama, man. Hey, roll tide. Roll like a motherfucker. Okay, for me, man, I'm going to tell y'all what a low rider is for me, homie. You know what I'm saying? For me, low riding is a way of life. You know what I'm saying? A real low rider, man, going to always have a low rider, whether he, uh, whether he on the street or not, he building it. If he ain't on the street, that means he's still building it. He in the process of building it. A real low rider is going to how to learn how to fix his own car, homie. You know what I'm saying? He gonna learn how to fix anything on a low rider. They got to, that's gonna break solenoids, ball joints, pump heads, armature and casings, uh, changing coils, changing cylinders, whatever it takes, whatever it is. He gonna do because he low, he low rider. You know, he gonna be out there on them streets, dipping his shit, hitting his switch. He ain't finna let another motherfucker hit his switch. He gonna hit his own switch, homie. You know what I'm saying? He gonna hit his own switch. He ain't, before he let another motherfucker tear his car up, he gonna tear it up himself. You know, cause he put the blood, sweat, and tears in, in the building, man. You know, a real low rider, you know what I'm saying, is gonna respect the game, man. A real low rider, you know what I'm saying, is gonna have love for the tradition of low rider. You know what I'm saying? A real low rider gonna wanna learn all he can uh, about low rider. He ain't gonna just build a car and go out there and think he can make his own rules like a lot of these little dummies be doing. You know what I'm saying? Low riding is about tradition, man. Tradition means a lot in low riding. You got a whole lot of people out here that try to make low riding whatever they want it to be, but it don't matter what the fuck they say or what they do, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Real lowriders recognize real lowriders, man. Just like in this hopping game. It ain't never no first one to get to the bumper. It ain't never about no who got stuck. When you hop in the car, lowrider has been. Lowriding, when you hopping, has been and always will be whoever gets the highest, homie. You ain't know about, oh, you got stuck. Motherfuckers be praying the motherfucker get stuck so they can win. No, it don't matter about who got stuck and none of that shit, man. It's all about who hopped the highest, you know? And when you come through that motherfucker, man, when you come through the boulevard, man, you got people on both sides, low riders everywhere, people all out, everybody looking, all eyes on you, you homie. You don't have to tear your car up, homie. But you got to do something. You don't just roll through that motherfucker, man. All eyes on you on both sides of the streets. Everybody looking. And you just like this. You don't touch the switch. You don't, you don't even look to the left or to the right. You just, man, come on, man, with that bullshit, man. You can lease pancake, seesaw, three wheeler, anything but hit the switch, homie. You know what I'm saying? You can do anything but hit that switch, baby. You know what I'm saying? Hit that switch. Do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, Greg. You know I know you talking about Linda Payton ass, man. <laughs> you know that was my baby for a minute. <laughs> but, yeah, hit, hit that switch. Hit it, man. Don't be playing. When you come through that motherfucker, man, you got to show them, man. You don't just come through there and don't do nothing. Look, man, all eyes on you, man. It's like you on, it's, it's like, it's, it's just you, everybody, everybody's just looking at you to see what you're going to do, man. The platform is yours. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. So what you going to do? You know what I'm saying? You going to come through that motherfucker just like this, scared to look to the left or to the, nigga, I'm coming through that motherfucker dipping, banging, right. Rocking my head, hitting that motherfucker switch, seesaw pancake, then gonna give him a three piece, and then jack it up and th throw it on three and piss on him, nigga. That's what I'm talking about. I'm like, then I'm gonna then I'm gonna put it on three, piss on him, boss a motherfucking U turn. You know what I'm saying? Lock the front up, lay the ass down, and I'm gonna keep on dipping, nigga. That's what G doing. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm talking about low riding, baby. Low riding 101, we gonna ride, you know? It ain't no if you got a seesaw switch in a low rider. Long as you got front and back, you got a seesaw. I don't need a seesaw switch. I use these two fingers here. This is like a seesaw. One up, one down. One up, one down. This all you need for a seesaw. You don't need a seesaw switch. I mean, I'm from the old school, baby. You know what I'm saying? I don't need a pancake switch. I just use these two fingers. Hit it down, hit it up. Man, come on, I gotta, come on, man. I ain't never had a seesaw switch, man. I always can use my two fingers. You call that and say she can't wait. That's all, man, for real. Oklahoma City, what's up, baby? Mr. T Patrick Solis, Solis, what's going on, Oklahoma City? Much love, baby. Trying to just sell them, man, when you out here low riding, man. You got to, I don't, look, homie. <clears throat> I don't see how you can even have fun in a low rider if you don't hit no switch. It don't, it don't add up, homie. That's all, it just, it just don't add up. If you ain't hitting the switch, it don't add up. What you doing in the car? You know, and you know, look, <clears throat> I just, I just, I build my cars clean enough to go on the show, but I don't build them show, show, show material. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about the show. I just build them clean enough that I can go in that motherfucker and if I want to compete, I can compete. Because I'm a street motherfucker, man. You know, you get all your credibility on the street, like I said, homie. You know what I'm saying? You don't get no credibility from just towing your car to a show and towing it home. You know, that's one of the reasons why I don't like Lowrider Magazine, man. Because when I was locked up, homie, 
They fucked us and fucked us dearly, man. We are supposed to get club of the year four years straight, homie. And every year that motherfucker told us we was going to get it. When it came, when they, when it came, you know what I'm saying, and they announced it, they gave it to another fucking club, homie. You know, and the club they gave it to wasn't even really on the fucking street. It wasn't no street club. And there wasn't even really, I didn't even really consider the lowrider club because they had all kind of fucking SUVs and trucks and all. How the fuck you gonna give a club like a, a, a club like that called uh, lowrider lowrider club of the year, homie? You know, I was mad as a motherfucker, and I was telling Twin, and I was telling everybody, telling them, man, fuck lowrider, fuck them motherfuckers, man. You know, this ain't they done fucked us royally a few times, man. But the club, they still like that shit, so fuck it. I, like I said, I'm not taking my car to the Lowrider show in Vegas this year. I might go to uh, Sam's show. You know what I'm saying? But whatever, I'm taking my car, but I'm going to be on the boulevard. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like, fuck the Lowrider show, man. They've been fucking us so long, and all that thing, motherfuckers just supposed to forgive and forget. Then they want to kiss your ass when they need you. Man, fuck that shit, man. Gregory Thomas said, with the homie Ski be considered a true lowrider. I saw some film of him and Punchy at a, a hop fest where he claimed his orange tray was the hottest that day. It might have been the hottest that day, but, you know, Ski been a lowrider. I've been around a long time, and I don't understand it, homie. Like homies like Ski. That's been low riding for over 30 years, homie, and this is still on how to hop a car. I don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? That's the homies. I love them, but I don't understand that. I can't. Can't nothing make me understand that, homie. Yeah, uh, Robert uh, Jack Square said four switches. That's all you need. That's all I ever get. Four switches. You know what I'm saying? Front, back, corner to corner. You can do it out before. You can pancake, seesaw, three wheel, and hop just on them four. That's all you need. I got a lowrider Surrey G. I was with my cousin in his 78 MC back in the 90s, and we saw a Lincoln in the McDonald's drive through locked up. We waited for him, and my cousin served him. That's how you supposed to do. Man, I used to run, me look, homie. I used to run motherfuckers down, man. I remember I had my pager shop on Long Beach Boulevard, man. And I used to have my motherfucking black Tudo box Caprice sitting right there. You know, clean as a motherfucker, black with that gray interior with the with the black uh, vinyl, vinyl top, moons blow, uh, moons blow, brains uh, blowed out, brains blowed out, bumper kit, dating. That, that motherfucker used to be sitting right there, homie. And we used to be just standing out there on Long Beach Boulevard kicking it, and motherfuckers used to come through in their low lows and hit the switch on me and thought it was all cool. Man, I used to jump, I had my shit parked, Face in the strip, face it where I can just pull out. Man, I used to jump in my shit, pull out, catch their ass, and serve them till they just say, all right, homie, I'm good. I wouldn't get off the motherfucking switch till they bowed the fuck down, homie. You know what I'm saying? That's low riding, homie. And it's having fun. Nothing malicious. Just nigga, you try to hit the switch on me? I'm, man, I used to come, man. I used to track them down, man. I used to, man, give it to them. But it was all fun, all love, homie. Mr. Patrick Solis Solis say they most definitely low riding down there in OKC. Oh, I'm going to come. When I get off this probation, baby, I'll be there. I got people down there. I'll be down there to the OKC to check y'all out. I got a whole lot of places I want to go, homie, check out. I'm going to take my podcast from state to state. You know what I'm saying? And I'll probably have my, my tray on the trailer, you know, in the enclosed or something. Yeah, all you need is four switches, Big Rider G. That's all. But, you know, everybody don't know how to hit it with them two fingers. So sometimes they got to give them a put them a pancake and a seesaw switch on there. But I like to do it the old-fashioned way. Hell, can't say, say, can't wait to start on this rag four. You got a classic there, baby. Take your time and do it right. 
Julian Lewis said, my definition of a lowrider that owns a lowrider is one that motivates others, teach one how to work on a lowrider, set examples of how to be in the streets when tipping and, that's, and, has, and hit your own switch. Man, for real, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got a problem with telling somebody or helping somebody. That's all part of expanding low rider. You know what I'm saying? That's part of the tradition, homie. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker can call me anytime or, or hit me in my inbox and ask me about low riding. I'm going to respond and I'm going to tell them whatever I know. You know? You know, I ain't got a problem with that because that's how it's supposed to be, man. When you love this shit, you know? And I love this shit, man. I love this low riding, this shit they call low riding, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man, I'm always having me a low rider, man. You know what I'm saying? You got me, yeah, you got, I ain't gonna even get into the stupid shit. But yeah, at the end of the day, man, hit your own switch. Learn how to hit your switch. Have love for the game, man. You know what I'm saying? When you out there having, when you out there dipping, have you some fun, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't see them on me and the low rider just riding all day like we used to go to the fucking, uh, uh, Santa Barbara or fucking uh, San Diego. Uh, we just dip. I cannot dip that far without hitting no switches. I'll go fucking crazy. But I done seen motherfuckers just roll all day, man, and don't hit one switch. I don't understand that, homie. Jay Lamont, salute to you, my brother. James Wade, what's happening? Yeah, man, but it's always been straight politics with Low Rod Magazine, homie. But see, I'm one of them kind, homie. I'm not kissing nobody ass. I don't give a fuck about Low Rider, man. I don't need Low Rider, homie. Low Rider need me. I don't need Low Rider Magazine. They need us, homie. Without us, ain't no Low Rider Magazine. So why the fuck we got to kiss they ass? You know what I'm saying? I ain't kissing no man's ass, man. For no reason. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown ass man and I stand on what I stand on. You know? No rider, no. I don't give a fuck about them. You know what I'm saying? See, they ain't trying to put me in no Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying? They just came out with a Hall of Fame list. And I, and I'm, <laughs> but hey, I, I wouldn't go no way because I can't stand them. I would have said no regardless. You know what I'm saying? They got a Hall of Fame list right now. They're going to do the Hall of Fame this year. At the, at the, you know what I'm saying? But I don't give a fuck. You know, because motherfuckers will put anybody in the Hall of Fame, man. Just because you didn't have a fucking lowrider, you know what I'm saying? On a consistent basis, that don't make you Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame is your motherfucking achievements, man. Your contributions. What have you contributed to lowriding? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. That's like a motherfucker that got uh, 100 sacks and then a motherfucker that got 600. The one with the 600 going to the Hall of Fame, it don't matter because the one with the 100 been in the league 15, 20 years. He just been in the league. He ain't did shit, but just played regular. You know? Hall of Fame mean you did something. You achieved something. You put some shit together. You, contrib you contributed to this low riding shit, man. That's what Hall of Fame is. Man, come on, man. Well, well, the mom uh, always ran eights in the front. Always ran eights. And back in the day, we ran eights and tens. You know what I'm saying? And then later on, we went to twelves. But right now, I got I got eights and fourteens. I got fourteens in the ass of the tray. And I got uh, I got tens. I got me. I mean, I got eights in the front, fourteens in the ass. But just on the street rider, just riding, hopping, and playing, and fucking around, all you need is eights in the front and uh, 12s in the back. You don't need no more than 12s. Or you can go 8 and 10s, but 8 and 12s is a good look. You know, 8 and 10s is good. Just for, for a street car, you 10s is good too. Big West 49 said, can't wait for our cookout, G. G riders, hey, G. <laughs> Don't say that uh, P word ever again. <laughs> what, what, uh, what, a uh, cookout? <laughs> That's right. 
Big Rodney G saying real low rider is somebody that's taking that's talking crap and then when it's time to hop, you gotta call your club brother or homie to hop your car. He said, Oh, real low rider is not, is not somebody that's talking that shit but don't know how to hop his car. That's right. Hey Jay Butler, all love, baby. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Patrick Solis say, check out the link when you get a chance. Okay, homie. Sixth Street Photography, what's up, baby? James Way say, G is, uh... Say, G is a sister that has a cream color 65 Impala. Still, yeah, mom, she didn't got old, but she still got the car. Yeah, my G moms, yeah. She still got that clean ass 65. Her son, her son was Momo, rest in peace. The one had the red rag top deuce. Robert said, remember when I was 13, my boy Raybo had a 64 cut with no hydraulics, but used to drive with the gangster lean. <laughs> I know he is like this all day. <laughs> Oh, he had that phone with no hydraulics. Yeah, he just rolling. He just cruising. But if I'd have seen him, I'd have, I'd have banged on his ass. I'd have, every time I saw him, I'd have banged on him. And he'd have went cut that. He'd have got tired of me banging on him. Six Street Photography says, is it because the reason why they don't want to hit the switch is they don't want to break something? Come on, man. You low riding. What part of that? You don't want to break. Look, man. Most of these dudes that don't hit the switch, they shit ain't super hot, no way. I know motherfuckers that got six batteries in the trunk, four batteries in the trunk, and still ain't hitting the switch. And even if you do, the only thing you can do is burn out a solenoid, an armature, and casing, or, or bust a motherfucking, uh, or, 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 or bulge, man, but every, anything that happened is minor that you can fix within 30 minutes, man. So, oh, man, I'm riding, man. Fuck that shit. You just get, man, I'm fucked that. I'm riding. Big West 49 said, I can't wait to get me another low rider. What's that, Soljay Olos? Appreciate OG, man. Appreciate you too, homeboy, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, without a doubt, you're an Hall of Fame winner. We have Hall of Fame mention your name. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole lot of dudes. That, man, I, man. I don't even want to get on that Hall of Fame shit. Because yeah, that pisses me off every time I talk about it. Because it's some straight bullshit. You know, that's real. Yeah, I don't know why we got to pay to put our car in. We should be putting our cars in for free. And the public gotta, should have to pay them to see it. That's how it should go. Big Rider G said, are you riding the high? No, they couldn't roll back in no 84. Hell no, they couldn't roll back in no 84. Huh? Uh-uh. That's what they couldn't do. You know, but like I said, man, real low rider got to be out there on them streets, homie. You got to be out there doing that thing, man. Representing, homie. You know? And another thing, man, it's so fucked up now. You hit the switch on the motherfucker now, he hates you for the rest of your life. Guess because you hit the switch on him. Homie, this low riding, homie. This is all fun, enjoying, enjoying low riding life. If a motherfucker hit the switch on me, if he all hop me, well, I ain't gonna hate him. You know, I'm just figure out a way where I can get his ass back. I ain't, <laughs> that's, that's all that is. You know what I'm saying? That's what this low riding shit is about, man. <laughs> Six nine Capricorn said, my car not even finished. I was so anxious to low ride. I have already blue tires, batteries, and had the rear stroke fall out. <laughs> hey, that's low riding, homie. That's being anxious. That's, you know, what? Well, that just lets you know when it is finished, you finna go out there and put that work in. Caleb, thanks for the donation, my brother. These cats think the shows matter more than the streets. Man, hey, the show ain't shit. Fuck a show, man. You know what I'm saying? 
When I catch my pull right up on the side of them motherfuckers on them motherfucking trade tow trucks and and, uh, and and bang on them and then laugh at them like yeah and then dip on out. Man, yeah, fuck that trailer queen. Crippin' Face say he don't know, but he got the, the hottest 77 Buick Regal in California, man, without a doubt, baby. You know what I'm saying? And he say he from the IE, huh? G Rider. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's all good. That's right. Am I ready to pull up on Big Punchy? Big Punchy ain't here. I mean, I ain't man, homie. I'm, when I pull my shit out, man. I'm ready to pull up on any motherfucker that got a street car, man. I don't do that circus shit. But any nigga that got a truck off a street car like mine, nigga, we can do it. We can do it. You know what I'm saying? Why hop a motherfucker that got 16 in strokes or 20 in the 20s when you you know you can't beat him? That you that's, that that don't make no sense. But if a long as a motherfucker got is a street car like mine. You know what I'm saying? I, I got four gates, 14 batteries, no weight, just a street car. You know what I'm saying? We can do the damn thing. Say, Black Mama, Black Mama G gonna definitely give y'all the business if y'all pull up on him, Compton and the... <laughs> man, you gonna make Black Mama get fucked off, man. <laughs> you, you gonna make a nigga bust Black Mama ass, man. Stop that. <laughs> yeah, the streets been the show, homie. Bragg's designs. For me, the streets always been the show. For real, for real. 60, <laughs> 60 volt dump. They ain't ready for the trades. I know they ain't ready. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it is what it is. We're going to have this motherfucking cookout, man. We're going to have us some fun. A hell of a meet and greet. You know, we have some hella. Like, We're going to have some hell of a sides. You know what I'm saying? This is this G giving a pick, giving a cookout, homie. So you know what I'm saying? We ain't been having no little bullshit, uh, you know what I'm saying? Bullshit food, man. We gonna you gonna be able to eat a meal and get full. You know what I'm saying? We gonna have dominoes, pinochle, spades. You know what I'm saying? And chess. You know what I'm saying? So people can sit down and enjoy their day and you know meet and greet and talk to each other while y'all whoop each other ass. All that. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to have some, you know, some uh, G-Rider time where we all get together and we sit down and talk and, you know, speak on some shit and see how we're going to move forward. You know, nobody do it like us, but I guarantee you, you're going to have motherfuckers copy us after we, because ain't nobody never did no fucking meet and greet, and especially the way we finna do it. So I guarantee you, you're going to have motherfuckers trying to do this after we do it. Bet you some money. You know, I'm willing to bet money on this. You know what I'm saying? And that's real. You know what I'm saying? But your boy got to get in here and go to work. But I just wanted to, you know, see what everybody thought a real lowrider is, though, homie. But a real lowrider, man, is going to learn his history, have love for tradition, going to hit his own switch, going to be hitting them switches when he rolling his car on that boulevard. You know what I'm saying? And he gonna be out there to have fun, homie. He gonna be eager to learn. He gonna learn how to build, fix his own shit. You got motherfuckers been low riding 20 years and still don't know how to put solenoids together and hook them up. You know what I'm saying? But a little real low rider is gonna be eager and he's gonna learn all these things, homie. And he gonna have a love for low riding to where he wanna pass it on, man, and help people. A real low rider is not selfish about nothing that got to come to low riding, homie. But see, because he know that the tradition and low riding has to carry on and on and on, homie. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Say, what a Pesco. Pesco's is the, you know, them gates that they got in the trunks that just barely go up and barely. Them the old school pumps. You know what I'm saying? That's what they used to use before they started using these up the gate day, uh up-to-date gates that they call because we used to steal uh, steal gates off the back of trucks off the back of trucks you know what I'm saying they had the gate gate to live down but then was the regular pumps and the best ones you could get though if you could find a number five pump here 
If you find a number five pump head in them gates or number four, anything over four, you good. But I never fuck with Pesco's because Pesco's wasn't gonna, gonna let you hop. It's just up, uh, up and down. So I don't, I don't fuck with them. Julian Lewis just wanted to say thank you, OG, for blessing us with the wisdom, not just about low riding, but about life in general. Much respect from Oklahoma City. Hey, man, much respect with all of y'all, man. Because I'm telling y'all, man, it ain't homie. Life is too short for us to go around being mad and then really have hate in our hearts, homie. You know what I'm saying? And that's real, man. If we ain't, you know what I'm saying, sometimes we got to ask God to be able to give us, you know what I'm saying, the understanding to forgive sometimes. Because sometimes, man, yeah, we don't want to forgive, and I know it's times I don't want to forgive neither, man. You know, and, and depending on what what happens, I don't know if I would be able to forgive. You know what I'm saying? But we, life is too short for us to be walking around mad and hating and not loving each other, man. Just imagine how easy it'd be if we just loved each other, and respected each other, spoke to each other, homie. We ain't gotta be friends. We ain't gotta talk. We ain't gotta do none of that shit, man. We just got to have some love in our heart, homie. You know, I know everybody on here is not Christians, but whatever you believe in, homie, if it's real, you got to have some love in your heart. So whatever you believe in, man, you got to have some love in your heart for people, man. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter what race. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no problem with nobody, man. I know I never trust white people. I never trust them. You know what I'm saying? But I don't got no hate in my heart for them. I should. We all should. The way that they did us, the way that they continue to do us, the way that they continue to gun down brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying, just like in the, uh, in the Latino community as well. You know what I'm saying? But we not a hateful people, homie. We are, we are people of love, man. You know what I'm saying? We the ones that Moses brought up out of there, man. For real. We the real Jews, homie. You know what I'm saying? Black people are the real Jews. Well, you know what I'm saying? If I'm offending somebody, hey, I only can speak my truth, homie. You know, they done blinded us for so long. And you know what I'm saying? And try to throw the wool over our eyes and feed us a whole lot of bullshit because they want to be the real ones and all that. Man, but at the end of the day, man, love each other, man. And above all, respect each other. As long as you respect each other, homie, and you ain't got, you ain't gonna worry about doing nothing wrong to each other. You know, not players. This is my players, always players, man. To never hurt or harm or disrespect another black man or a black woman, man. Really, I ain't trying to do that to nobody, period. But I'm just so want to let my brothers and sisters know, man. I love all y'all. I love everybody, homie. You know what I'm saying? And I've been on a long road, homie. And it's been a long journey. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I'm just starting now, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that, this this a whole new mission for me, man. I done did all the dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? All the bullshit. The hateful shit. It's all about respect and love and helping each other, man. And you know, that's what I'm trying to do. I got to, you know, it's all about redemption with me, man. I got to redeem myself, man. I got to make my family, my sons, my mama, my father, my motherfuckers to be proud of me. You know what I'm saying? He was this, but look what he did. Look what he turned out to be. And that's some real shit. You know, so for all y'all on here, man. Hey, man, it ain't nothing but love and respect, man. You know what I'm saying? And hey, this your boy Gangster straight out of Compton, man, but uh. I still use that moniker, you know what I'm saying, because that's who I am, but you know what I'm saying, that's who I am on another on another way. You know what I'm saying? I done reinvented myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not that same person, you know what I'm saying, that let's go, let's go, nigga, let's go get them. No, I ain't that. Now to be like, man, hold up, man. <laughs> we ain't got to do all that, homie. Is it, it ain't even worth that. Huh? Give me the phone. Let me hit somebody. Let me call somebody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what it's about now, man. 
We got to talk. It's a whole lot of shit can be talked about. Everything ain't got to be about violence, man. Yeah. That's real shit, man. So, yeah, man, for all y'all out there, man, that's listening. <laughs> Twin ain't going to come on here at the end of the motherfucker talking about. He ain't really write a full sentence talking about or a real low rider just asking. Twin, what not you y'all? You should have been on here and gave your definition. See, Twin is a little asshole, man. He is a little asshole. Julian Lewis say, just wanted to say thank you, G. All, thank you, all, G, for blessing us with the wisdom, not just about low riding, but in, 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 in life, but life in general. Much respect. From Oklahoma. Hey, man, love Oklahoma, man. Love much respect to Oklahoma, man. The hub and the dub, baby. You know what I'm saying? Without a doubt. James Wade said, G, I love you, brother. Your therapy and my life. Salute to you. Man, salute to you too, homie. Man, we got to keep pushing that love above all, man. Like I say, I'm not, this, this channel is about any and everything, homie. We can talk about whatever, man. As long as it's something, you know what I'm saying, legitimate. You know, I ain't got a problem with no, you know, nothing, nothing that's not negative, homie. You know what I'm saying? We want to keep this shit now positive. We want to keep the love and keep the respect, and we're going to keep it dipping, baby. Huh? When you come through that motherfucker, homie, we gonna, uh, twin, hey, twin, when I come through that motherfucker, yeah, when they pull up on you talking shit, twin, what you going to do? G, G. <laughs> But you know what, nigga? I'm going to be right there for you to serve that motherfucking ass, nigga. Because you my motherfucking homeboy, nigga. You my brother, and I love you, nigga. Yeah, believe that. So if they got a problem with twin, they got a problem with me. And that's how I get out. Let me get up out of here, though, man. Much love, man. Like I always say, when you know better, homie, you got to do better, man. And that's real. For those that haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the notification button. So every time I come on, bam, you can be right there with your boy. Y'all know I'll be right back on here tomorrow at 6 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? With another subject or topic. You know what I'm saying? Something that we can kick it with. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I love all y'all, man. Love you too, twin. I'm up out here.